Welcome back, my friends. The glorious spring has arrived, and it is time to celebrate. As the spring begins its march, dancing blooms across our horizon and spotting our world with vibrant colors and beautiful bird songs, I can't help but feel that everything coming to life around us brings new life inside of us too, and I think that's worth celebrating. Around here we do a lot of our celebrating with, well, you guessed it, tea. Because what better way is there than to surround ourselves with loved ones, cozy decor, delicious treats, and a cup of tea. So we have an extra special afternoon tea to plan today. An Easter tea, a welcoming spring tea, or just a tea for the sake of tea. Will you join me today as I prepare a cozy and indulgent spring tea for my dearest ones? Today we'll start with arranging our decor. Lately, I've been obsessed with a blue color that reminds me of a French provincial style. I found this blue table runner named French Blue, and I couldn't get it out of my head. There's something so charming about the thought of wild blue flowers on the countryside. So with that in mind, I found a few secondhand teacups and egg holders. I love the way that the varying shades of blues and whites and creams play together, like the birds and flowers out in nature. To create a vintage, peaceful ambiance, we'll layer a white tablecloth with a lace tablecloth and top with our French blue runner. We'll add some stunning floral elements to finish our table. With our decor planned, let's move on to our menu. Since we're welcoming spring, a season of vitality, we'll incorporate warm and hearty choices in our savories, balanced with a good amount of fruit and lightness in our sweets. We'll throw in some fun and surprising seasonal choices and tie it up nicely with two contrasting scones. As usual, any recipes mentioned here can be found linked below. For today's savories, we'll start with slices of these mini quiche florentines baked with a thyme crust to feed our souls. Next, we'll make these addictive shiitake mushroom and truffle cream croquettes with a sriracha mayo sauce on top to give it just a bit of spiciness. Finish our savories course with salmon mousse on sourdough crackers. For our scones course, we'll make two contrasting British scones. We'll start with Fortnum and Mason's Sultana scones, which are wonderfully light and fluffy. We'll pair these with whole grain honey scones from Brownsea Island in Dorset, one of Britain's National Trust properties. Honey reminds me of the wonderful work the bees do to pollinate all of our flowers, fruits, and vegetables in the spring. They make spring come alive before our eyes. We'll prepare lemon curd and clotted cream to top our scones, which can be made at home or easily purchased if you have access to them. Finally, the sweets course will be the highlight of the menu. Any of these items can be made and frozen ahead of time so the hosting day isn't too crazy. 
We'll start with these vanilla mousse bunny cakes filled with strawberry gelée, which may be the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. I used a chocolate sprayer for the outside, but you can easily purchase a chocolate velvet spray in a can and avoid this part if it seems like too much. These are so soft and delicate and very lightly sweet, so they pair wonderfully with tea. For a more indulgent addition to the table, we'll make these chocolate eggs filled with a strawberry coconut white chocolate filling. To contrast our creamy flavors with some citrus, we'll make these open-faced lemon meringue macarons, which taste exactly like lemon meringue pie, and are particularly fun because you get to use a kitchen torch. To liven up our table with the natural abundance of spring, we'll finish off our sweets with a fruit arrangement. Save the best part for last, selecting the perfect teas to complement our menu. To start us off, we'll build a foundation with a familiar black tea, Earl Grey Creme by Art of Tea. We'll contrast this with a more fun and fruity pairing, and finish off with my own personal guilty pleasure, an orchid oolong tea. With our table all set, it is time to welcome in our family and friends. Happy tea, dear friends. May your home stay cozy and your hearts sing with the birds this spring season. If you like this video and you want to see more content about tea, coffee, and cozy romantic living, remember to like and subscribe.